Hey everyone, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. In today's video, I am sharing with you a thrift to treasure. I am taking this beautiful table that I purchased off of Facebook Marketplace for $60 and transforming it into a gorgeous table for my recently renovated kitchen. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will chat with you guys throughout and let you know what I am doing. Before I get started, I just wanted to share with you the products I'm using on this table. So I am, besides my sanders and everything, but this is like the finishes and everything that I'm using. I am using this Verathane Dark Walnut Stain, and then this Minwax Fast Drying Polyurethane, that will be for the top. And then for the base, I'm using my Sherwin-Williams Extreme Bond Primer that I used on my cabinets and my emerald urethane trim enamel that I used on my cabinets also in pure white. So these are the products that I'm going to be using on the table. So I found this table on Facebook Marketplace and we got it for $60, which was a really great deal. It's a solid oak table. It does have a leaf in it right now. So it's 48 by 48 without the leaf and I think it's 48 by 72 or no it's not quite 72 60 or something with the leaf in so we are going to sand the top off the finish because i'm going to stain the top and i'm going to paint the base so we're using my husband has a belt sander so we are using that we're going to start with 80 grit sandpaper you definitely don't need to have a belt sander you can use a hand sander or whatever sander you have we just happen to have, or have one, so it will take off the finish a lot faster. So my husband's going to sand this down with the belt sander, and we'll start with 80 grit, and then we'll go up in grit until it's smooth. So here's what the table looks like now. We went through with the 80 grit sandpaper with the belt sander. So next we're going to put on 120 and um, do go over it lightly everywhere. The edges, I'm going to use this little sander over here. And then in the actual little crease, I'm going to just have to use a sanding block to sand it. It took about 45 minutes with this belt sander. So um, you can rent those if you're ever doing a project like this and you don't have a belt sander, you could go to Home Depot or someplace and rent those. Um, but you could do it with a little sander like that. It would just, it took us 45 minutes with this massive sander. So. Okay, so here's the top all sanded down. We did 80 grit with the belt sander, and then my husband went over the whole thing with 120 with the orbital sander, and then we finished it off using 220, and then just used a little sanding block to get in the edges. And so now we are going to be putting some stain on it, cleaning out, we're gonna take out the leaf, clean out the middle, put some stain on the top, and then I'll start working on the bottom. So next I just took a coat of my Extreme Bond Primer that I used on my cabinets. There we go, there's better lighting. And put it underneath the bottom rim and then I still have to clean and sand that off and that's all gonna be white. Also, I'll put the primer on and then put 
a couple coats of the pure white that I did on my cabinets and probably distress it. I haven't decided for sure if I'm gonna distress it, but that's what we're doing there. And then this is with one coat of the um, dark walnut and I love it. It's exactly the color I want it to be, so I don't think I'll need to do any more coats of stain. The only thing I'll need to do is a couple coats of polyurethane. So I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but the next thing I did was I just used my orange glow, uh, orange glow degreaser and cleaned the bottom really well. And then I just used my Extreme Bond primer that I used on my cabinets and gave that a coat. And then a little bit later today, I will give that a quick sanding just to smooth it all out. And I will put my uh, put one coat of the pure white by Sherwin-Williams that I did on my cabinets. And then I will finish it with one other second coat when that dries. Okay, so here is how everything turned out. The top turned out gorgeous. We worked so hard at this and, you know, there are some gouges that were pretty deep that were in the wood already, but it gives it that kind of aged look. So I'm totally okay with it. I think it turned out phenomenal and I love the dark stain. And then the bottom, I just finished painting. So what I did on the bottom was I primed it with that same primer that I used the Extreme Bond Primer by Sherwin-Williams. I did one coat of the primer and then I sanded it quickly with 220 grit sanding paper and then did two coats of paint. I did not sand again between both coats of the paint. I just, this is just the bottom of the table so I wasn't really that worried about it. So I'm super happy with how this came out. I just finished painting it. It's funny because my husband can't stand the little feet on the table but I think they're hysterical. I kept saying, oh, I've got to paint his toenails. But anyways, you're not even gonna see them once the chairs are there anyways. But overall, I am so pleased with how this table turned out. For $60, I just got this amazing deal. This is a solid oak table. And when I say solid, I barely can move it. So you probably saw also, it does have a leaf. So it does pull out. So we stained the leaf and everything, but I think I'm gonna put it in the kitchen like this without the leaf and then just add that in there when we need it. But for like I said, for $60, I, 
I already had the paint, I already had the stain. The only thing I had to buy was the polyurethane that was like nine or $10 from Walmart. Other than that, I didn't have to buy anything. So for $70 at the most, I got this beautiful table. So I am so happy with how this turned out. And Kova's my buddy right here. She lays in the garage while I'm doing the table. She lays right here and keeps watch and makes sure that everybody stays safe while I do the table. Right, Kova? Kova. Say hi. Say hi. So these are the chairs that I'm going to be using for the table. I did not thrift these. I really just wanted really comfortable, beautiful chairs that we can sit in. So I found these at At Home, and I did get two of one style and two of another. I don't like everything to be matchy-matchy. I like a little variation. So I, these are gorgeous, and they have the silver nail head um, that goes around them and around the back with a tufted back, and then this little cute little detail here on the back and then the other ones are just tufted and they have kind of a darker nail head that goes around the bottom and they have darker legs and then the other two have lighter legs so I love these the one looks a little bit darker I did just put some scotch guard on these to protect them so they they look a little darker than what they really are but these are beautiful and they were worth the splurge um, i paid so little for the table but i really just wanted some really nice chairs to go around it Okay, so here is how the table turned out. I love it. I think it's just gorgeous. I love, the top came out really so beautiful. So I love the darker color stain with the white bottom. And then these chairs really just make it extra beautiful. So I did find these at At Home. So there are two different chair styles because I don't want everything matchy matchy. So this one um, has like kind of the silver studding and the tufted back and has the lighter legs which match the kind of legs over there on the island stools and then this one same color you know seat also the tufted back it has some of the darker um, nail heads around here and it has darker legs which match better with the darker top of the table so I have two of each kind and it just complements this table so beautifully. So I feel like this table was exactly what I needed to kind of finish off the kitchen and I am so pleased with it. And again, I got it for $60 on Facebook Marketplace. The only thing I had to buy for this was the polyurethane 
and that was under $10. So for $70, I refinished this entire table. It's solid. It has a leaf. Um, it is solid oak, so I think it was well worth it. I did splurge a little bit on the chairs because I just wanted them to, I just really wanted really comfortable chairs because we use this table way more than we use the dining room table. The dining room table is probably used two or three times a year tops. This is used almost daily. So, and we like to play a lot of family games and stuff, so I'm really excited to have a round table in here so we can play our games and nobody's reaching too far. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Next video up, we'll be decorating the kitchen and this beautiful table. So if you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing and follow me on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. Thank you all so much for watching my video today. I will see you in my next video. Have a great day.